it was an instant yes and an easy yes. And uh, the what will be answered when you watch the movie. Uh, very, very obviously. I'm sure you all can already get the feel of it uh, with the trailer. Uh, the subject itself is uh, fabulous because it's a wonderful uh, thriller of a story. Uh, it's, uh, it speaks about a lot of things on a lot of different levels. Very, very relevant, very, very uh, important, very, very meaningful. And um, it's the absolute language of one's heart. So it was an easy yes, and that coupled with the maker itself and the incredible team, beginning here with, of course, Irfan, as you see, but an incredible team that we have brought on board. So it was our, um, it was an immediate wish list. Uh, I think when Sanjay and me were sitting together and uh, going through the script, um, this is the cast that we saw. And when that actually comes true, uh, you, I mean, uh, being thankful is an understatement uh, for um, you know when for the entire team. So as uh, an uh, actor and as an artist, I was just so grateful that uh, all the actors consented and came on board because that's so just cool. the way we saw it. And um, yeah, it's been a superlative experience. I think I've answered all the million questions possible today. But yeah, a big congratulations to during your absence. There was a time when a revolution came where uh, women, many, many women-centric movies were not only critically successful but they were many commercial successful also. So what do you want to say about it and do you think that Jezbal also will be the part of that revolution? Wow. Uh, suddenly he reminds me of an absence. <laughs> so because very honestly, um, I haven't felt it. I haven't um, felt being absent, though obviously, I mean, going by time and the number of releases that we do have, of course, um, I wasn't making movies. But uh, in uh, a lot of the ladies here will nod and who have who've completely experienced what I am wonderfully experiencing right now. We have no concept of time and we don't realize how time flies by. So <laughs> being a working mother, um, it's, um, I, I really uh, did not uh, delve into this absence factor. And probably that's why I have not necessarily focused on uh, the comeback term. There's no going away from it. There's no running away from it. And there's, uh, it will forever be the comeback film. So uh, I'm not denying it. But when I turn around and say this, I, d I haven't felt it. That's just the way it is. And when you're talking about um, uh, subjects and movies uh, getting their due, uh, it's always the audience's verdict. And uh, it would be wonderful if, um, if the world wouldn't view it as we artists do. That is, we don't really, I think, and I'm daring to speak even on your behalf, Ifan, I mean, you please add, contribute. But I don't think we get into a movie compartmentalizing it as any kind of centric, you know? I mean, really, the, the dash centric. Because here we are just coming on board, having a story unfold and being told to the viewer. And I honestly believe even viewers don't necessarily label it, but I think once that impression is kind of set, then that's the way it gets articulated. So um, we are here making movies, and we are always in the hope that every movie that we make appeals to the audience, the viewer, because that's who it's being made for. And um, that's pretty much as innocent <laughs> as our uh, entire approach is, I think, when we make movies. But um, if um, subjects of a variety today are being uh, obviously um, appreciated, enjoyed by the audience and um, accessible to a, to a wider, more receptive audience. And that makes it a very exciting time for us in the movies, as, as in all of us here, be it the producers, the directors, the writers, the actors. I think it's an exciting time in cinema. And that we, as the creative people, are very grateful for, because it just makes our time more, uh, we get to enjoy a variety as well. Uh, uh, Sanjay Gupta, you know, Sanjay like Gupta when Sanjay Gupta is directing a film, is Sanjay Gupta centric film? Absolutely. Uh, Sanjay sir, <laughs> Sanjay sir, uh, this movie is is it a remake of a South Korean movie Seven Days? Because the storyline is uh, quite similar with that. It, it is a remake. I'm not at a liberty to tell you what film it is, but it is a remake of a Korean film. So have you directly lifted the movie and the especially in the basis of the violence? It has been adapted. 
I can tell you one thing. I have not uh, seen any movie when I have come on board to do this movie. We have received a script and we have done a Sanjay Gupta film. <laughs> as clear as that. Ashwari Ritesh from ETV. My question is, how much of a lawyer was it and how much of a challenging role was it and how much of a challenging role was it and how much of a challenging role was it? Yes, you have to know that I was the first time a lawyer was it and I was the first time a lawyer was it. So, obviously, it did entail a certain degree of educating oneself about really what the life of a lawyer is like, what me and Sanjay shared about what the real scene is like, because कहीं ना कहीं हम लोग की जो impressions हैं and wonderfully so I think we that's why we always say cinema is a part of our culture क्योंकि we virtually grow up believing that's the way life is तो we do have a certain impression of what a courtroom scenario is from cinema that we have enjoyed watching for years and that is somewhere, if none of us have had absolute first-hand experiences uh, <laughs> legally, which God bless uh, all of us here, <laughs> hopefully not too many, then uh, that remains our impression. But Sanjay obviously gave a deeper insight into what the real scenario is, and we wanted to keep it as real as we could. And that's the way we have played it out, uh, with the conviction of a lawyer, with not necessarily the dramatics that you would... We let the... the the moment have its drama rather than the way you're playing out the moment. I think that was a very important brief that Sanjay shared with us, and that's what we try to st stay truest to. She called him an international star. She's an inter no less an international yeah. star. Now, with two international stars, how did you blend the international appeal with the Indian appeal? And uh, do you think this is the film that will make the you know the much uh, anticipated breakthrough in world cinema? For Indian cinema. Yeah, yeah, Rajiv, I'm, I don't want to uh, make any claims that, you know, we're making a film to cross the borders and this and that, but uh, there is an uh, intention in place. Uh, there are cuts of the film being readied. It's being uh, dubbed and released widely all across uh, the UAE. It's being dubbed in Arabic. We're also dubbing it in uh, other South, uh, South American languages and English. So there are uh, international cuts with a slightly shorter length that will be uh, going out, apart from the obvious uh, diaspora release. Uh, if I'm sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, I'd like to add to that. Sir, we national hi national. We are national. Hai. It's just that when I introduce introduced to me, I either Miss World ko reference or I have international beauty title ka reference. Hota hai. या इंटरनेशनल प्रेजेंस का रेफरेंस होता है तो इसलिए मैंने कहा कि भाई आई एम वेरी वेरी थैंकफुल फॉर द ऑपरेशनिटीज डेस्टिनी हैज गिवन मी बट ऑनेस्टली एंड वेरी वेरी ट्रूली एस यू ऑल सी आई एम नॉट द ओनली फॉर्च्यूनेट वन एंड दैट इज व्हाई I made that reference there, but when we did this film, we were happy as actors to come on board, and it isn't about all the adages that go with it. <laughs> uh, how different was uh, for you to play a cop role from that of Good Day with all the punchlines? Uh, uh, I didn't. I didn't think of cop at all. I was thinking of punchlines, and you know, it's a Sanjay Gupta film, and I had great time, uh, you know, saying those punchlines. My uh, attraction was at punchlines. You know, I wanted to deal with punchlines, and I love them sometimes. You know, and uh, in this film, there are a few, and you will you will remember them when you come out to the theater. Uh, it'll make your life colorful. <laughs> my punchlines. My favorite is there. I don't know whether I should reveal them now or no. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is uh, there is a point where one of my guy asks, "K uh, Ashwarya comes and meets me, and she goes away, and she he asks, 'Tumne jaane diya?' He says, uh, 'Mohabbat thi, isliye jaane diya. Zid hoti, to baahon mein hoti.' <laughs> Ashwarya, <laughs> this side. Yes. Ha. दोबारा वापसी पर आपके सामने संजय गुप्ता जैसे डायरेक्टर और इधर इरफान जैसे एक्टर तो किस तरह की स्पेशल तैयारियां करनी पड़ी हैं आपको या सीधे मैदान में उतर के आप इनसे पूछिए नहीं आप ही बताइए ना जहाँ तक काम का सवाल है तो सीधे मैदान पे ही उतर आए लेकिन जो नॉर्मल जो हमारी प्रेपरेशन होती है मीटिंग्स होती है ऑब्वियसली 
कल बोले और आज जाग गए और सेट पे गए तो जो नॉर्मल हमारी प्रोफेशनल जो प्रेपरेशन होती है वो तो रही ही लेकिन सच पूछे तो इसलिए हम यही कहते हैं कि आई थिंक यू नो कई सालों से हम ये सुने हैं हमारे सीनियर्स को कहते हुए कि वंस एन आर्टिस्ट ऑलवेज एन आर्टिस्ट एंड दैट डेफिनेटली रिंग्स ट्रू एंड आई एम विटनेस टू इट विद माई ओन पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस क्योंकि कोई समय का गैप हो या ना हो उसका हमें हम उसे नहीं पहचानते और जो कला है एक कलाकार को उसे निभाने में ही जो संतुष्टि मिलती है जो खुशी मिलती है वो तो एक बहुत ही गहरी बात है और और उसे लफ्ज में उतारना बहुत मुश्किल है लफ्जों में उतारना सो आई थिंक दैट्स द सिंपलेस्ट ऑनेस्ट वे आई कुड आई कुड से इट बच्चन साहब मेरी जिंदगी आज बहुत घूम रहे हैं <laughs> मैंने बहुत उनकी फिल्में देखी थी उनकी फिल्में देख के मैं बड़ा हुआ ऐसा दौर आया कि वो आस बहुत हैं मैं कुछ एप्लीकेशन डाली है मैंने कि वो मुझे अडेप्ट कर लें अभी तक अप्रूव हुई नहीं है होगी तो बताऊंगा मैं आपको You have constantly prove everyone wrong, and you constantly do versatile roles and things. Now, recently, also did a party song. So, do you uh, do that consciously, and uh, do you constantly try to reinvent yourself and do uh, and you know go beyond your limits? I think uh, what you are saying is right. Actually, I proved myself also wrong, and nobody thought I could become an actor. I also never thought I could become an actor, but there was a kind of uh, drive which uh, you know. propelled me to do this and uh, there is i think there is an instinct in me which uh, hates formality which uh, which tries to see things in right definitions you know whatever uh, i think i am here to redefine things you know i i hate conventional things so it's it's an in- instinct you know it's <laughs> it's not very thought out thing you know it's something which comes in from inside me you know if there is a uh, formal atmosphere there will be an instinct within me which will try to disrupt it you know so it's a, you know it's it's a god given uh, curse or you know blessing i don't know he had to change that too he he didn't want to say god given blessing god given child <laughs> just let's let's just say that differently <laughs> saying the same thing but let's say it differently <laughs> uh, ashwarya ji hi um god i again i guess i'll be now sounding similar to him that i probably don't um, fall into the conventional responses and reactions that people are seeking and uh, and then they focus on the giggle like i now realize i just did a second ago uh, but um see the point is i have always enjoyed the process uh, of the making of the film that's what's most precious to me because that's what i live with that's my life that's my everyday and i have said this for years it's um, we are in an industry and and we recognize that and of course uh, when you hear that a film has made the money invested firstly and then of course the profits it's it's gratifying for the business of the cinema when the film has appealed to your audience um it's extremely creatively uh, satisfying and that's what we as a team would always look for and seek um but when you when the reference is made to butterflies and nervousness i i get very gobsmacked about what kind of an answer to give because i don't know whether saying of course i get nervous will humanize me or saying that no i mean you know we have we have made the baby and the baby is out there to live its life you know it's it's, it's like let the birds fly and uh, it will live its life it will find its journey and uh, hopefully the flight is a wonderful one and that's what the team aspires but beyond that uh, it's not about um, it's never been about butterflies so i so that's consistent from my last film to this <laughs> uh, irfan i want to know uh, after comical uh, piku there is a 
intensive salwar and now jazba so how do you offer us uh, your script i just go by the instinct you know the if the is uh, if the story pulls you if the director is if the jazba has been made by some other director i would have definitely by you know considered something else but i know that you know what the director is capable of doing so you rely on director you rely on your uh, you know the way uh, there's a there's a bell which rings when you hear a script or you when you hear your role and that makes you decide you know and you also look at the producer you know whether he's going to uh, put it you know present it properly or not you know all these considerations are there but f first and foremost it's you know uh, is th there should be a you know tinting in your heart when you listen to the script you know irfan sir kaisa raha sets pe aishwarya ji ke sath kaam karne ka aur aapka kaisa raha anubhav dono log ek dusre ka anubhav bataye aur koi aisa khas experience jo set pe hua मेरा एक रीज़न इस फिल्म को करने का ऐश्वर्या जी भी हैं बहुत बड़ा रीज़न और मैं आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड एंड मेरे लिए उनको जानना उनको देखना करीब से एंड उनका काम करने का एक जो तरीका है और फिर इससे ज़्यादा एक्जिलेटिंग कुछ नहीं होता कि एक माँ अपने बच्चे का ध्यान रख रही है और साथ में शूट कर रही है इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी एंड ये स्टडे भी जस्ट फिनिश्ड यू नो वी कम्प्लीट द फिल्म एंड इट वॉज अ ब्यूटिफुल डे एंड it was a great experience you know it's it uh, it it's a, it's a kind of memory i will cherish and uh, i loved the experience aap bhi kuch bataye kaisa raha i have been saying it right from the word go he asked me another question i i answered something else because um like i said the this was the dream cast for me and i mean when i read the script it just it was him uh it's and i'm so glad uh, he came on board because it could have only been him and um it just made um, working every day so natural it, one it doesn't feel like work uh you can see why <laughs> like he said um the blessing ulf curse is uh, is wonderful he just makes it um, it's it's very relaxed and yet you know you're there to do focus work as colleagues uh we have him helming it and again even him i mean uh you know when you're working even with sanjay i mean here i i i kept saying that before that here when you say sanjay gupta you know it's i i i'll use that term again testosterone infused i mean there's a sanjay gupta movie and uh you know it was wonderful that he brought he brought and evoked that energy out of us every day in such emotional and even uh, intense moments which is which just makes working together um uh, effortless and he definitely brings that i mean irfan really really brings that out as a colleague and like i said you're a bad habit <laughs> in the way he says it as it obviously a good habit but uh, <coughs> he's a bad habit and uh, looking forward to hopefully directors willing writers willing many more experiences of working together acha ashura ji hame bataiye ki aapka ye advocate ka role बॉलीवुड इंडस्ट्री में दूसरे एडवोकेट के रोल से कितना डिफरेंट है <laughs> ये आप आपको हमें बताना होगा फिल्म देखने के बाद एंड टू इरफान सर लाइक ऐश्वर्या जी का ये कम है तो आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि आप पूरे साइडलाइन हो जाएंगे इस फिल्म में <laughs> मुझे एक तो कम बैक नहीं लगता मुझे तो एक, you know, मुझे, मुझे कभी लगा ही नहीं कि वो कभी गई है कहीं एंड साइड लाइन होने कुछ अच्छी बात बुरी बुरी बात नहीं अच्छा लगेगा वो यू नो किससे साइड लाइन होना है ऐश्वर्या का किससे साइड लाइन होना है तो अच्छी बात है खूबसूरत बात है हेलो हाय ऐश्वर्या आई हैव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर इरफान एंड ऐश्वर्या इच यू नो यू ऑब्वियसली आर अ वेरी प्राइवेट पर्सन एंड यू डोंट गिव टू मेनी इंटरव्यूज वी हैव सीन ओवर द इयर्स दैट यू नो यू हैव केप्ट योरसेल्फ एंड यू हैव अ फ्यू वी हैव द कान थिंग दैट हैपेंस एंड वी हैव फ्यू थिंग्स बट यू नो लॉट ऑफ एक्टर्स मेक श्योर दैट दे आर इन द लाइमलाइट इवन इफ अ मूवी इज नॉट देयर यू नो दे आर डूइंग इवेंट्स सीन लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट डजंट हैपन ए आर यू गोइंग टू मिस नॉट डूइंग दैट and keeping to yourself um and um, we also we spoke to abhishek and he told that you sometimes come on twitter but are you still going to keep yourself away from the social media and you know all that the social media question is uh, to be answered that i'm not on it <laughs> i haven't been on it so far um and when i go sometimes it's on his account and I'll, it'll be about sharing wishes and thanking obviously the millions of well wishers for all their love and good wishes which honestly i'm very very grateful for people have been so generous throughout another reason why i've just not felt the gap or uh, the factor that may i may not have been making movies 
and uh, I'm very, very grateful for, for, for the love. And I'll go on all your handles to say precisely that and share that with, with everybody because I, I truly mean it. And um, I have all of you to convey that as well. So at every given opportunity of a media interaction, I pretty much obviously and genuinely will um, convey to all your readers, viewers, and um, our well-wishers for all their love and blessings and good wishes and kudos and um, critiquing and the good and bad and the ugly, all that goes with the turf. When it comes to um, making sure that you're seen and being seen, um, Again, I think it's not about, I've, I've never been about any kind of, um, there's no plan to it. You know, there isn't any strategizing. I think I already, I, I believe I pretty much am very present <laughs> because, yeah, I do have a life. I mean, life is in the way and I live it as well. And I've always said that, you know, whether it meant making movies before marriage, uh, during marriage, literally after marriage, uh, during my pregnancy, also more than half of it, I was definitely present uh, in interacting with you all on various platforms. And after motherhood as well, from the third <laughs> month, three and a half months, and I was doing endorsements and appearances on that front. The reason I wasn't making movies is because I'm the kind of person who commits. I, I definitely respect the integrity of commitment. And um, I'm, I'm a very committed mother, and I'm a very committed professional. And I will not um, give less of myself to either aspect of my life. So when I felt it was time that I could now venture out to figure out the balance, I didn't know it. I was figuring out, I still am, I'll continue to, because life changes. And in a mother's life, I think every day is a first. Uh, whether it's a one-year-old, three-year-old, five-year-old, you've never been a mother of a one-year-old, three-year-old, or a five-year-old before. So every day, and, and they're on, every day is a new day, and you keep discovering uh, what's in store in your everyday, but um, when I felt I was ready to be able to balance the prioritizing, um, that's when we went ahead. I mean, Gupta and me were kind of talking for more than, what, six, six eight months before that. He, he, he sent me the idea and he kept saying, let's meet, let's meet, let's meet, but his energy and you know you're raring to go. Now, as a professional, like I said, once an artist, always an artist. We'll sit together, we're sitting right here and you're like raring to go completely, but Life is in the way, you know. So um, when we were ready, there we were on the accelerator, <laughs> kicking on all, all guns blast, as we say in his lingo, and ready to, you know, roll. And uh, I'm glad we did when we did, because it all just seems right. It all fell in place. Sure. Hello. If on, um, you know, when we see the um, trailer, we also noticed an, an observation is that there's a lot of hero bazi, the term, if you can say it. Like, you play beautiful characters, and, you know, then there's, like, you know, when a Shah Rukh and a Salman, you have this certain hero stardom to it when they do it with a certain thing. This movie kind of puts you in that zone, which you usually are not, uh, you know, you, you obviously are a fantastic actor. Have you enjoyed doing that? Have you enjoyed playing the hero, hero kind of way? I don't think it put me in that zone. Uh, my zone is my zone, and I won't. Uh, I'll I'll ke keep expanding my zone. You know that's uh, that's <laughs> what the, the, that's what the fun is. You cannot uh, put yourself into somebody else's zone. Everybody creates their own zone, and uh, I loved it. You know, it's uh, because it's a it's a solid character, and there is a solid undercurrent. Uh, you know, the kind of chemistry, the kind of relationship m my character and Ashwarya's character is having, uh, is unseen. You know, you have you haven't seen this kind of uh, you know. Uh, chemistry uh, and uh, I loved those uh, one-liners you know with the first day of the shoot I s asked Sanjay he was you know he was directing me and that Amitabh Bachchan wala scene so I said one-liners kaha hai he said I have kept a lot of and then he started narrating me one after the other and I loved it and that was my you know something I was propelled by I said I have two one-liners I want to say them so you he can that. say them the way he does. When you see the film, you'll know that. I'm telling you, this, this, it's, it's an art. It's an art. Hello, Ashwarya. Ashwarya, on your left here. Uh, we have heard a singing debut from this film. Se. Is it true? You have also sung a song from this film. Me. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm not sure. But uh, intention is. 
तो ऐश्वर्य आप कुछ इरादा हमें इस फिल्म में या इन फ्यूचर हमें कुछ गाने आपके जुबान से सुनने को मिलेंगे बिकॉज पिछले कुछ एक साल फिलहाल जज्बा के बारे में बात करते हैं फ्यूचर के प्लान फ्यूचर में ही बात कर लेते okay. हैं बिकॉज पिछले कुछ एक सालों में कई सारे एक्टर ने गाना भी गाया है लाइक आलिया भट्ट प्रियंका चोपड़ा श्रद्धा कपूर सम्मान खान काफी सालों से एक्टर्स हैव संग इट्स जस्ट प्रोबेबली मे बी द it's it's not a new thing actors have been singing for i mean pa has been singing forever so okay. it's not a hali me log uh, actors are singing it's probably getting obviously a lot more um it's it's we're trying to probably do uh, what's natural to everybody anyways and like i said we all sing aap bhi gaate hain aap bhi gaate hain aap bhi gaate hain because we've all loved our cinema music i think there's a singer in every one of us mm-hmm. it's about choosing to go on and explore it's just about the choice to be made as and when you choose to do it so there is no time frame to that as to ki ab ye ho raha hai aur pehle nahi ho raha tha aisi koi baat nahi hai pehle bhi ho raha tha mere liye to inke samne khada hona mushkil tha to wo mushkil thoda dheere 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 ease out ho gayi <laughs> because inhone ease kar diya usko that was the toughest thing uh, aishwarya uh, on your left uh, aishwarya hamare industry हमारे हमारे इंडस्ट्री में हमेशा ऐसी बातें हैं कि जो दिखता है वो बिकता है तो काफी पिछले कुछ एक सालों में आप हंस रहे थे ना पहले ही कि अभी पता है ऐसा कोई सवाल आने वाला है पिछले पिछले कुछ एक सालों में एज एन एक्टर क्या फील करती हैं कि ऐश्वर्या राय की पॉपुलरिटी में कुछ एक कमी आई है या उनकी पॉपुलरिटी वैसे भी है जैसे पिछले कुछ एक पाँच सालों में मैं ना कोई ट्रैकिंग कंपनी हूँ ना मैं कोई जॉब ये सब आप कीजिए हाँ क्वेश्चन टू यू इज रिगार्डिंग योर रोल How difficult was it for you to portray a traumatized mother who is about to lose her daughter and then switching off to a convincing lawyer? Is it always an actor? <laughs> That's what um, she does for a living. <laughs> it's kind of the job of an actor, no? I mean, this is something that we're meant to do, and uh, we're in the able um, hands of uh, the director every day on set. and uh, with very uh, committed responsible colleagues and um, this is what we do every day i mean um, how difficult or how convincing uh, every day at work is challenging i mean if you and I, so i don't think the word is difficult the word is challenging and that's what we as artists look forward to i think if it was just a blind walk in the park then I, what do you wake up and go to what would excite you so you're looking forward for that um, for that challenge that excites you that like he was saying about feeling that bell inside you, you it has to ring close you know it has to excite you it has to evoke something to want for you to be there and um, taking a time out from your from your from your reality you know we we're not leading our personal lives and coming every day to work this is not a conventional 9 to 5 job uh the job of us as artists is um, in fact very rarely defined by time we know what time we arrive at shoot we never know what time we're necessarily going back because we are about there getting the moment captured and even if life is in the way very often we are like okay so when do you think we'll wrap and very often we are about adjusting our life around that and the only reason we do that is because we love what we do why else would we do that on a daily basis so as long as we are feeling that feeling we are there making that movie and doing that part um in terms of whether you're you're playing a mother you're playing a lawyer you're playing whatever different roles you have out there um that's what we need to bring to the table and like you said that's what we're there doing that job <laughs> it's our job to do that it's our it's our professional commitment to do just that uh, mr gupta these days ever since i mean music has been an integral part of the movie uh, and uh, it carries after the movie is right. done as well so on a music perspective can you throw some light on what the audience can expect from just by this time uh, personally for me uh, the music making part is the most exciting part about my movies i love that whole process and there's no way uh, i could even think of a film without music in it 
but uh, having said that this is not your conventional formula film and uh, these characters cannot suddenly break into a jig and they cannot start singing songs so we are not doing that uh, in uh, <laughs> yeah there's no party song in the film <laughs> so we don't have that but yes we do have an ost and uh, there will be songs uh, which we're working on which would be there for the in the ost to promote the film and i oh, love and respect that i love and respect that we're not again uh, while he obviously stated it i think we we all sit here and have that factor and commonality that we don't necessarily need to play into obvious conventional perception of the adages that necessarily go with the perception of what to expect oh and i mean that and, and twinkle is really talented in in some of the most uh, uh, amazing you know activities like insulting people <laughs> <laughs> she's an expert in insulting people i mean all through my life my since i've known her she has just constantly insulted me <laughs> <laughs>